Um, I just yeah. want to bring up one thing you've discussed with both of you. Yep. Um, it's, it's to do with the HIA. I know they've now made it mandatory for 11 days. Yeah. I just want to ask, do you guys think more head clashes or, or concussions are starting to happen because they outlawed the shoulder charge? Like, what's your takes on that? What do you think? Well, <clears throat> I, I actually agree on what, what's happening at the moment. What NRI are doing. I, I'm not saying that's oh. wrong. I'm just saying, do you reckon the shoulder charge being banned is the reason of seeing an increase or a spike in head clashes? Because... You know, you playing the game, yeah. it just seems like head clashes are getting more and more of you because yeah. the bodies are bigger. Because I'm sure you use your shoulder to great effect. Yeah, we all yeah, did. Yeah. Playing junior footy as well against the bigger man. You could put your, you know, just yeah. ram into him. That's a great question. I actually haven't looked at it that way, but... Um, uh, I, I mean, I... I, 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 I'll, I like, I'll tell you, like, I'll give you a, a key example. James Seguiaro, I'm trying to remember who the forward was. Seguiaro was playing for the Cowboys, I think, at yeah. the time. Somebody's charging into line. Segura launches from the ground with his shoulder, hits him, nails him, legitimately over here, and sends him, you know, flattens him to the ground. Yep. Legit tackle, nothing high. But now Segura can't use his shoulder. So where's he going to go? It's either going to be high, he'd probably get, you know, bounced off, or he'll go alone, the hip will hit or the knee, mm. or he'll try to go in for a side tackle, and his teammate will come from the other side. And it'll be fr a lot of times we're seeing friendly fire. Heads clashing and they're going down. Yeah. So, is the shoulder charge? I mean, it's another discussion we can bring further yeah. and and pose it to our fans mm. or whoever tunes into the podcast. Is the shoulder charge being banned a possible cause or the main reason of spike in the HR? I mean, in in concussions. Look, look. Let me let me uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, <clears throat> I think that people are starting to get too technical and they're trying to 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 get too deep into the little technicalities of the game. In, in what sense? In, in, in regards to, oh, is this doing that or is that doing this? Firstly, what, what I'm trying to say is that this is a contact sport and these things are going to happen. Do I think that the lack of a shoulder charge is causing head knocks? No. Mm. Do I think that them getting rid of the shoulder charge was the right thing? Yes. Did I Do I hate it? Yes. But ultimately, shoulder charges cause more damage right, than most other types of tackles head on, right? We've seen a spike in, 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 in like a lot, not just a, a small, lot. a huge No, spike. no, no, no. no. Hamid no, no, no. is gone for the season. We think... Who? Sevilla Havili. The one from Rabbits. I heard he was gone. very bad, you're yeah, right. Yeah, gone. He won't be playing this year. And, and, and the thing is, like, if you look at when... He might just retire. He's not young. Yeah, he might as well, yeah. I hope he doesn't. He's such a good, good player, player, man. He's, he's, that humble. he's had, a, what, 10 years in first grade? He's had a good nah, stint. No, he hasn't had nah, 10 years. Nah, probably like oh, three, five, five, yeah, three maybe? or five, Saliva yeah. Saliva Helvili? Yeah. I think he was at the Dragons in 2014. He was. Yeah, maybe that's he was. He started there. there. Yeah. And, and now he started somewhere else. He was at the Warriors before that. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. He's had a, I think he's had a good decade yeah. plus in the game, so... Yeah. I mean, it would still be a shame to see because I still oh, think bloody he earth. had a lot to offer. How much spark did he offer for Canberra as well? Remember when they meant the oh, game? Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I was like what, what a game. At one stage, you were thinking, should he be starting ahead of Hodgson at one stage? Yeah. Who well, was that that yeah. impact? Yeah. And, and they started and, playing him as a small forward as well. And he's actually having, having a lot there. of impact for the Rattos. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, look, I think as much as I hate not having the shoulder charge in the game, I do think it's the right move. I love the move that... Um, that they've made um, now um, that 11-day automatic uh, stand down if you get a Category 1 concussion. I think the, the players needed it, um, and it protects our players. I'd rather my my guy be out for two weeks than, than have to retire. Is the NRL the first professional sport in the world to do sit-outs, or is the NFL already? No, the NFL's already done NFL's NFL's already They've been doing that for a while now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, so yeah. NRL finally caught on. I think they're finally catching up to the Australian standard. I think AFL's got that as well. Yeah. Boxing, like, if, you, if you're, I think it's boxing. Can't fight for, I think, three or six months. Yeah. yeah, yeah if you get KO'd or TKO'd. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. six. six uh, I think you'll see. And you've still got to pass, uh, I think, a neuro... Cognitive test? Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I think it's, it's perfect. And to be honest, I do expect in the next year or so, mm. that'll probably become... 20, I think it was 24 days yeah. or 26 days. Some sports are... From one concussion or after two? No, if it's a category one concussion, yep. right? It could be 11, instead of 11 days, it's 26. Are they going to increase it? Yeah, I think it might, it might uh, increase. Well, I, I, not, I, not longer, I don't know much people, but I was knocked out not long ago. I was in hospital. Um, they oh, gave me geez. three weeks. Yeah, I was knocked out cold. I was in two minutes on the ground. This was Rod Massey we were playing. Uh, wow. 
uh, knocked on the ground. I, I didn't rank it. Rico, I didn't remember anything about not, 10 Not PM. the old Denka rub on the nose. And yeah, you get up and run up and you're, <laughs> you're all right 15 seconds later. So you, you wobble around a bit. Concussed? Yeah, heavily concussed. And they said, uh, so New South Wales Rugby League was running it. And they said the NRL rules were 11 days, can't play, no training. Yeah. And then they said three weeks, no work, like physical, actual work. Yeah. yeah, so that's the rules that they presented to me. And they gave me a slip and they said, yeah. So we went forward with that. I think it's a great thing because I couldn't remember a thing. I was knocked out cold. Um, ran straight, clashed the head. Um, I was knocked out. The kid's head was all bleeding down. Was oh, that was the dead. opponent. Yeah, was opponent. Jeez. This was against Glebe Massey's side, and there, his face was gone. Like he needed ten it. stitches, I think. Jeez, yeah. this is crazy. So he'll miss as well. Yeah, and I had stitches inside my mouth. It was that bad. Yeah. So NRL presenting this rule, good on them. Yeah, and, yeah. and the other thing they were saying is that they <clears> want to. It's gotten worse and worse. Reduce the amount of contact sessions that you do at training as yeah. well, because that's also people are getting a lot of concussions yeah. during training. So, I think. I'm glad you brought this up. I just yeah. used to put my shoulders in late hits. <laughs> At training, and then my teammates not, were just... Not surprising for a Dragon supporter. Not surprising. <laughs> hey, a lot of them were Dragons juniors, so... Uh, I just, you know, the small man taking out the big nah, man. That's what yeah. it was. Oh, but, but yeah, cheap shots. I think, um, you know, it, it, this concussion rule, for the sake of the players, I think it's great. Yeah. To, but I also think that what, what the NRL needs to do is now start thinking about um, increasing the size of the teams, the extended team from 30 to 35. Yeah. Right, and then have a look at even the HIA mm. rules of bringing, you know, the 18th man and stuff like that maybe tinker with that a little bit like hi interstitial. Oh, look it's it's still a work in progress but i do like the where, where it's going yep. i think it should have been done earlier like last year they should have done the 11 week but it, i think it will get longer it may be a minimum of two weeks like 14 day sit out or because I, I i forgot who i was listening to they were saying that um the uh, uh, neurologists say it should be 23 days not 11. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Right. That's going to be the norm, 23. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, That's like three days. Three no, no, days. they yeah. haven't said that it is, but they're saying that it should, that the, the neuroscience, um, neuroscience is saying that that's where it should get to. Okay, you know what I think will happen after that? So let's say they do implement your the 23-day yeah. recommendation. You're going to start seeing in our old squads then increase from 30 to 35, maybe 40. Yeah, that's Because right. you need an extensive roster. I think the NFL's got, what, 53 line? 53? Yeah, yeah 53. They literally got three or four players for every position. Yeah, that's so right. you got your reserve backup, for example, quarterback. And then you got your third string quarterback. Mm. And then I think you get your, like, fourth string and anything. But he's, like, on the special... Special teams, yeah. Oh, and they have the, tra- the team off-season... Or they have the team training list. So they're just still trying hard week in, week out, and they probably get signed up for two weeks at a time yeah, to try yeah, to crack yeah, the 53 yeah. or just ch- maybe offset the third string quarterback. For, I'm just giving an example. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the same yeah, thing with the linebackers and the and the linesmen and all that. So yeah. I think we're going to see a move, shift towards that as well with the NRL in that sense. And I think I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. Um, but, you know, like I keep thinking about Kellen Ponga and thinking if he's lost to the game, I'll be, I'll be really upset. Yeah. The guy's young. He's got the, all the talent in the world. Like when he plays for Queensland, he's incredible. So I think all the moves that the NRL can make to help protect the players, I'm, I'm all for it, man. Definitely how, all for how it. How many concussions does that cost this shit? How, how many has he copped? Three already? No, he, he copped the one. Oh, he hasn't but copped last, two? Last year he copped four. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's in, uh, six. And then you have to retire? Yeah, you know what? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the max is six concussions. You've got to retire. Oh, in a season? No, no, like, like ever. ever in the NRL. They reckon six and you got to retire. I'm yeah. not sure about that. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I'm not confirmed, but I heard something along that line. you got to retire, yeah. I will, I'll confirm that. Yeah. But yeah, Please confirm that, yeah. That's why they're so scared about him now, because it's getting consistent with Kalen. Uh, I remember game Andrew Johns gets knocked out cold. He gets up, he staggers, falls on the ground, gets up. I think it was against Brisbane. Gets up, falls on the ground again. And they end up toweling up the Broncos by like 30 or 40 points that day. Yeah, but I mean, they, look they at brought him. Got- but but yeah, obviously his brains are scrambled. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say it, but yeah. Some of those players, are, their brains are scrambled at yeah, the moment. Yeah. So. 